Hey everybody, this is Ernest with Upfix. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about OBD2 scan tools on board diagnostics. And basically, if you have any kind of lights on, any kind of weird issues, a scan tool like this is great to actually find out what's going on. It'll give you specific DTCs, diagnostic trouble codes, and a hard battery reset, as you can see in another video that we have, we'll put in the link below. Uh, that does what's called a soft reset. So any kind of dummy codes or anything that can be cleared easily, it can be done with a hard battery reset. However, if you want to know exactly what those codes are and why they're not being reset, scan tool is going to help you. So let's get started. So to hook up the OBD2 scan tool, usually it's located under the driver's side dash. It could be a little cap right here in the kick panel, could be a little bit towards the left. And this vehicle, it's right underneath here and there's no cap. You simply just make sure that you got the right orientation. And as soon as you plug it in, your OBD2 scan tool will immediately power up. So once you have the OBD2 scan tool hooked up, and powered on. You can select from different modes like previous vehicle if you've already done it before. I'm gonna go to scan tool. Again, every scan tool is different. Uh, on this one, I select the make, and then you can do automatic or manual entry. Automatic means it'll scan your vehicle for the VIN number and already pre-select everything that it has. So we're gonna go with that. And this is a 2015 model. We're gonna select that, Altima. And this is a 2.5. Make sure everything looks okay. Confirm. And now you can read all the codes. You can go to individual modules and systems, for example, the engine system, transmission, anti-lock brakes, etc. We're gonna just do a full scan and let it scan all the modules. And then you can individually go in inside each function and find out what those DTC trouble codes are. Almost done. And it's finished. And the system detected 10 codes and none that are too vital. And as you can see, I'm just going through each one. No check engine light, so there's no engine codes. You can go to the body control module, uh, select sedan. And go over here, you can see that the code will show up either on the left side or somewhere in the middle. And once you have all that, you can clear all the codes. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna scan and you wanna make sure that the engine is off, but the key ignition is on. So all the diagnostic lights are on. You hear the beeping in the car sound, that means that you're on the ignition cycle two. And as you can see, it's in progress. It's gonna clear all those codes and that's all set. And if you have any codes that come back, then you know those are hard codes that you might have an issue with. If they were soft codes, a hard battery reset or simply clearing it with a scan tool would make those codes go away. And I'm doing one final confirmation code scan. So you wanna scan it, clear it, and then scan it again and see what's left. And I'm getting the same amount of codes. So these are non-essential codes um, for other systems that are not engine or transmission. So that's basically how you scan your vehicle. Once you've obtained the DTC code, you can essentially put it in Google, find out what's going on, what those codes are, the common fixes, what parts are recommended to fix that, and et cetera. So you actually can visually see what kind of codes you're having. And from there, you can go on and troubleshoot further. And that's basically it. So once you have the diagnostic trouble codes, I recommend typing that specific code into a search engine like Google. Um, the first website results will show you the top possible reasons that that code is being triggered in your vehicle and also the solutions. So you can try uh, to go step by step. So if it gives you multiple items that it could be, you wanna just go through each step and make sure that you count that off, to, that you've already checked that part of the system. And knowing the codes that you have in your vehicle is very helpful to essentially find the issue and why your diagnostic light is on or whether you have a physical symptom like a misfire or the car's not starting. Um, so hopefully you find this video helpful. See you next time. Mm -hmm.